Ukrainian drone operators hit three Russian tanks near Bilohorivka. The FPV strike group, 9081st Apache, said that two of them were completely destroyed and one was damaged. The T-62 tank was detected by soldiers of the Komita Control and Artillery Reconnaissance Battery and destroyed by FPV drones. The work of the FPV drones was observed by a Ukrainian reconnaissance drone, which took up a position above the tanks. During the approach, some FPV drones began to lose signal, but managed to reach and hit their targets. This sector in the Luhansk region is currently being defended by the 81st Airmobile Brigade, which includes the FPV Strike Group, 9081st Apache. Bilohorivka has been the front line of the Ukrainian Defense Forces for over a year and a half. Dozens of destroyed vehicles in and around the village are the work of paratroopers of the 81st Brigade. The village was constantly under pressure from the Russians with different dynamics. Since 2022, soldiers of the Ukrainian Defense Forces have been holding back the Russians, who are spending a lot of energy on occupying the village. It is very common to see footage of how infantry and vehicles repelling assault attempts in the area, looking for weaknesses in the defense. As previously reported, the Russian military has begun using newly modernized T-62 tanks in the combat zone. The 2022 model has several differences from the base model. A new 1PN96MT02 thermal imaging site was installed on the tank to replace the old optics. Ukrainians, after receiving numerous approvals from NATO countries to use donated equipment for attacks on Russian territory, are not idle. Simultaneously, there are also attacks using improvised weaponry on poorly protected Russian rear positions. So far, Ukrainians, for political and image reasons, have tried not to carry out too many attacks on Russian border territories. Now, an interesting recording has emerged showing the annihilation of a Russian convoy still within the Kursk region, 2.5 kilometers from the border. Ukrainian soldiers from the 103rd Territorial Defense Brigade destroyed the Russians using FPV drones, which means they had been able to sneak relatively close to the column. At least a dozen vehicles and an unknown number of soldiers were destroyed. The Ukrainians do not have sufficient advanced long-range anti-tank guided missiles, ATGMs, such as the Stugna P or the FGM-148 Javelin. The Russians attacked the Ukrainians with a mass of equipment, even of a museum nature. Even for a tank, such as the T-62 or the T-54, something must be used because it is resistant to machine guns or automatic cannons. For this reason, Ukrainians use FPV drones to carry weapons that are ineffective under normal conditions. Examples include RKG-3 anti-tank hand grenades capable of eliminating combat vehicles from the BMP series or single-head PG-7BL anti-tank grenades. The range of such drones is 800 miles depending on the construction and payload. Moreover, such missiles can be stopped by even a sufficiently thick steel plate separated from the main armor of the tank by about 50 cm. In this way, the famous Russian armored barns proved to be exceptionally resistant to FPV drones but defenseless against professional anti-tank weapons. Meanwhile, the Ukrainian military, using FPV drones, 
successfully attacked a convoy of Russian vehicles in the Kursk region. The information was posted by activist Serhii Sternenko on his Twitter account. According to the publication, the Russian convoy was first spotted by a reconnaissance drone that sent FPV drones to the scene. The attack was carried out using classical tactics. The vehicles at the head and tail of the convoy were attacked first. However, this method is effective only on narrow roads, as it makes it difficult for vehicles to escape from the targeted area. According to preliminary data, the authors of the video are the Malibu units of the 53rd Separate Mechanized Brigade and the Wings to Hell of the 103rd Independent Brigade of the Territorial Defense Forces. There is no information on the exact date and location of the shooting. But according to Defense Express, the location of the attack can be determined using geolocation. The attack probably took place just 2.5 kilometers from Ukraine, near the Russian settlements of Sverdlakovo and Lebedevka. Ukrainian military defending Kharkiv region repelled 18 attacks from the Russians, moving to new positions near Lukintsi and Vovchansk to avoid losses and save lives. This was reported by the spokesman of the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Dmitry Lihavi, during a telethon. The report states that Russians are intensifying their actions in Kharkiv region and at the Kramatorsk and Pokrovsk directions in Donetsk region. In the Kharkiv direction, the Ukrainian military repelled 18 attacks from the Russians. In the areas of Lukintsi and Vovchansk, they maneuvered and moved to new positions, avoiding losses and remaining in the fight against Russian troops. The fighting continues, but the Ukrainian military does not allow the Russians to gain a foothold, and counterattacks are underway. The Russian military is under constant control of Ukrainian artillery and unmanned aerial vehicles.